Hi students, I'm going to make a quick little video on how to finish this um, data nuggets assignment. So you have to authorize your Google Drive. This will not give me any information other than um, you, this assignment. It'll make a copy of the assignment for you and you can fill it out directly. The first thing that you're going to want to do is click on the um, here section here and it'll bring up this reading that I have already brought up. And here you're going to do this tiny, tiny little background reading, and then you're able to answer a lot of the questions. Um, I'm going to start by looking at the first two questions and get an idea what they are. Um, is coral a plant or an animal? And how is coral photosynthetic? Okay, so I'm going to read the background. Coral reefs are home to many species of Animals, fish, sharks, sea turtles, and anemones use coral for habitat. Corals are animals that build coral reefs. Coral is white, but they look brown and green because of certain types of small plants called algae that live inside them. The algae produce food for the coral so it can grow big, and the coral provides the algae a safe home. So that answers two of our questions, and I'm going to go back here. You can write directly on the Google Doc. Um, and I will get a copy of it. So I put, is coral a plant or an animal? It said it's an animal. And how is coral photosynthetic? Because algae lives inside of it and it gives the algae food. The next two questions, what is coral bleaching and why is coral so important? You can find those in the next couple of paragraphs and I want you to look at that and figure those out for yourself. Okay, so then further on, you're going to learn about this scientist, Carly, who works in Florida, and she actually studied um, corals and found that corals inshore, so next to land, were actually doing better with um, the water getting warmer than offshore coral that was really far away. When the water got warmer there, the coral would die further. So Carly decided to design an experiment to test this. So she actually got corals from inshore and offshore, and she put them in a tank with um, normal water and um, for the inshore and the offshore with normal temperature water and saw how many bleached. And you can see that was zero out of 15 bleached or died um, for both of them. And then she also talked, got inshore coral and offshore coral and put it with a heater and had slightly warmer water and watched how many bleached after six weeks. And she found that in the, of the inshore coral, only five out of the 15 bleached, whereas 10 for the offshore coral bleached. So she made this chart. Um, you're gonna have to go back and find out what her hypothesis and her question, um, what those were, and then you are going to answer those here um, in her for these questions. You're going to write the question and the hypothesis. Now, something that I want to highlight here is independent variable and dependent variable. Independent variable is the thing that you are changing. Um, and dependent is what happens as a result of that. The independent variable for this was that she heated up the water. That's your independent variable, the heated up water. And the dependent variable is how many corals died, okay? Um, so you're gonna answer those. You don't need to answer any questions on this page. Do not answer questions on this page. You're only gonna answer questions here. Um, then you're gonna record how many bleached corals there were. That's just recopying information. And then you are going to put in a graph of that data right here. You can print this off and handwrite it, or you can watch like a two minute video from me. Here's the link. And it'll take you to this two minute video on YouTube that I have that explains how to make a chart out of a graph or how to make a graph out of a chart on YouTube. Um, and then you're going to answer the last few questions that are here and then you're going to hit submit and that's how you complete this data nuggets um, coral bleaching assignment.